Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stone Mountain, and this is Titanfall 2. I did a bunch of videos about this game when it initially came out back on Xbox One PC a few years ago, but they are now releasing the second one also on PlayStation 4 now. EA has sponsored me, including a trip down to LA last week where I was able to play and record this game. So everything I'm about to tell you is from first-hand experience. To start, I wanted to make this video to give you a full overview of the game, everything that's included. So day one, when it's time for the tech test, you're a badass and ready to be in my squad. And I'm going to dive even deeper to the pilots, titans, and everything in this game, which you can check out linked down below with the playlist that I'll be making for Titanfall. But I mentioned a tech test and you playing it. Free to join. It starts August 19th. It's essentially a pre-alpha for the game. They want to be able to stress test their systems before the full rollout. So here's what you can expect in terms of everything that's in the tech test. To start You'll roll in with a video and then some training to practice the movements, the shooting. Then you'll be unleashed into the multiplayer, where there's three maps, three modes, two brand new titans, and a whole mass of customization for the pilots. Let's start with the modes. There's quite a bit new here. Bounty Hunt was what we were first introduced to. Each team is farming on some third-party AI team. We don't know the back-end story quite yet, but they're dropping down in pods where you kill them for cash, $10, $20 at a time, and you need to deposit this cash for it to count towards your team's score. They divided the game into two waves, one where you farm on that AI and one where you deposit it. Both teams are fighting to kill the same AI, deposit into the same banks. And the catch is, if somebody on the other team kills you, they take half of the cash that you have. This got insane when I started hoarding up a ton of cash and didn't know whether to keep pushing out and earn more or stay hidden to save that until the deposit wave came and I can lock in all the points for my team. This has a mix of titans and pilots, unlike the next mode that we saw, pilot versus pilot. This is exclusively pilots only and no AI at all. It was still on the same maps, same sizes, but it also had an increased player count, so it still felt like there was people around. In addition, if you look at the HUD on the mini-map, there's two circles, one that's blue for our team and orange for the enemies, where you can see the general spawn location of where enemies are coming from, and if you push in far enough, it'll change the spawn location. It kept everything extremely fast-paced, and is great to see already in the game, unlike when Titanfall 1 came out, and we were very limited with every mode having AI and Titans. But we're still not done with the final mode being Amped Hardpoint. Similar to other games you may have played in the past, Domination, it's typically called, mode, there's three nodes that you'll capture and earn points for holding. But, of course, there's a twist. After you capture the objective, you can amp it by continuing to stand on it and defend the objective. It's essentially like capturing the objective twice, but once you capture it the second time, you have to stay on it. As long as you remain on it, you get double points for it, as if you're holding two. During the tech test, there's going to be three different maps you can play on. All the modes were playable on all the maps, and they didn't resize based on the mode. That being said, both pilots and titans were able to work in any of them, some of them catering more so to one than the other. This first map, Forward Base Cadet, had this intricate network of buildings and pathways in the center, with a couple buildings on the outside of the map, but an overarching um, grass platform that you see this titan walking on now with a full layer all the way around the map where the titans could roam around. They could also go through the middle but didn't have as much maneuverability. Homestead was your big wide open map. Tons of grass fields, rock formations, sniping was amazing on this map. You can see the spire to the left here is this big pillar in the middle that you can get on top of. A anything you can get on top of in this game. And finally, Boomtown, which felt a lot like Angel City from the first Titanfall, if you remember that. It was within this city environment with buildings that you can go in, bottom floor, and there was this big trench in the middle. That was where a lot of action went down. This is the bridge that takes you over it. You can also go around on either of the sides. And all of these maps are set up in a very lane-type system. 
there's still intricate pathways to get around, but it's not like just a big open map with random stuff everywhere. It, it felt like there was a couple of main lanes that you should be going down, which were mainly set up for the Titans to walk through, and a bunch of smaller paths that pilots could work their way through. Next up, let's talk Titans. Similar to Titanfall 1, as you get kills and play the objective, you'll earn your Titan. In the bottom left corner, there's a meter that once full allows you to call in whatever Titan you've set up in your loadout. To call it in, you push down on the D-pad and it'll call it to wherever you've specified, even crushing enemy pilots and Titans. Now that's what I call payback. Broad strokes, the first Titan is Ion. All around a more middle of the road, versatile Titan in my opinion. Medium mobility, good balance between offense and defense abilities, and a strong primary cannon that's easy to use. Very similar to any of your assault rifles, this thing shoots ion-type balls of energy out of its gun, effective both against titans and ground units. He has the classic deflective shield, which will absorb and then throw back incoming projectiles, a trap that he can lay on the ground, and an ultimate ability known as the core in this game, which you can use to send a giant laser beam out of your chest. The other new Titan is Scorch, who I liked a little bit better because there's a bit of a skill gap. He has abilities that work together with each other. You can combo them, so practicing and mastering this Titan can give you an advantage. His primary gun, like you saw me shoot there, is essentially a grenade launcher that on impact explodes in a ball of fire. He also has launchable gas canisters, like you saw me drop there, which amplify that fire effect quite a bit. He also has this fire shield which will just absorb enemy damage and is also good for killing pilots and titans. The skill with this guy comes in with mastering the fire, being able to drop a double canister and then use your third ability to ignite it. You can also use that flame shield to take down these mechs if you can get up close enough with this guy that is pretty slow, especially compared to the Ion Titan and some of the Titans that were pretty fast in Titanfall 1. And his core ability is dominant with a huge ground and pound. You can further customize your Titan loadout with a lot being similar between the two, like trading off having an extra dash versus more damage with your primary gun, giving your Titan a bubble shield when it comes in versus warp falling instantly. But the final one seemed to be more specific to the Titan, amplifying a specific ability that you have. Finally, at the core of the game, the pilots. These can be played in many different ways, and the biggest key is going to be the ability that you bring in. There will be five available during the tech test, including a grappling hook, invisibility, a healing speed boost, a holographic dummy, and even a shuriken that you throw and pulses to show nearby enemies. You also have a grenade slot, which can be an explosive, two stuns, electrical cloud, or a gravitational ninja star, which will suck enemies into a cluster for you to destroy. The primary weapon slot, just during the tech test, will have seven different weapons to choose from. Two options of snipers, SMGs, and LMGs, and one option for your assault rifle, shotgun, and a new grenadier, which is essentially like a grenade launcher. For the secondary slot, you had an option between three different anti-Titan weapons and a fully auto pistol. And in addition to all of that, there was two more slots at the bottom where you can customize some of the more passive type abilities that your pilot has, including your wall hang as you're running on the wall, aim down sight and you'll hang on to wherever you're at. Or swap it for the ability while you're mid-air aim down sight to hover wherever you're at holding your position. The other option focused more on either health regen or ability cooldown, whether you want to be more defensive or offensive. There was also one more menu with two more options. From what was available, it mainly seemed to be for pilots, but it included factions, which we didn't have too much details for, and boost, which was this passive ability always in the background that gave you almost like a kill streak effect. One of them was amped, which as you did well, got kills, you could amp your weapons, which lasted for your entire life, but whether it was your primary or your secondary. Alternatively, you can use ticks as you do damage, get kills. The ticks you drop on the ground and they'll almost protect you or go after enemies if they're close enough and explode when they get near it. Now, it had a very delayed effect before exploding, so it wasn't too big of an issue. If anything, I actually preferred the amped weapons. The final piece we saw was network, something brand new where 
you or myself can create a network with moderators that other people can join into, whether it's for casual play and we have 50,000 people in it, or a small group of 20 that's invite only. If you're looking for a game, you can send an invite out to the whole network and first come, first serve, people can join and you can play with some like-minded people. I'll be creating my own. I'd love to have you guys join it once it is out. It is platform specific, and I'll probably be playing this on PC once it's officially out, but I'm curious in terms of you guys, my audience, what will you be playing on? I have a poll in the description, no sign up, just a straw poll to get some feedback. I put a lot of effort trying to capture as much as I could into this video. Although I can't c touch every single little thing, I wanted to put it in a good 10 minute format, which is what you guys usually seem to enjoy. Let me know with a comment of what you guys think of this game so far. Does it look fun? Are you excited to play it? Will you be getting it? Drop it in the comments. I'll be reading through it. It'll help me give a sense to how much content I should be putting out on this on my channel. Check out the previous video for a snippet from the single player gameplay, some of my initial impressions on it and a breakdown of what was included in that that actually isn't in the multiplayer portion, including a Titan. And I'll have even more content coming that I got exclusively from this recording event. Check the playlist in the description down below, and I'll see you guys soon. This is Stonemount64, over and out.